We are just 37 days away from the Washington Commanders' first preseason game, which you can only watch right here on WUSA 9. But fans aren't just focused on what happens on the field. You also want to know where owner Josh Harris is going to build the new stadium that he's been talking about. Well, now WUSA 9 has learned that there is a growing concern in Maryland about what could happen if the team left its current home in Prince George's County behind. And as chief investigative reporter Eric Flack discovered, that could mean trouble for those who want the team back in D.C. Outside Commander's Field in Prince George's County, there is uncertainty about what the future holds, even for Cowboys fan and Bowie resident Kevin Sales. If you take the sporting event away, what would you have here? The team's search for a new stadium includes three options. The current site, a site in Loudoun County, Virginia, and the nostalgic favorite of many fans, the RFK site in D.C. But for that to happen, legislation giving D.C. long-term control of the federal land RFK sits on needs to pass the Senate. And right now, both of Maryland senators are signaling potential opposition to the bill, largely over concerns about what would happen to the stadium site in Prince George's County if the commanders decide to leave. Because it's the team, not the county or state, that owns the stadium and the 200 acres of land it sits on. In a statement to WUSA 9, Senator Ben Cardin said of the RFK bill, whatever the future holds, there must be binding agreements as to the future of the current stadium property should the commanders decide to move. The office of Senator Chris Van Hollen agreed and said he wants to, quote, prevent actions that unfairly tilt the scales in favor of one location over another at the expense of federal taxpayers. In a statement, a commander spokesperson told us they remain committed partners with Prince George's County a person close to the stadium decision, adding, it is just too early in the process to discuss conversations, plans, or hypothetical scenarios. But a hypothetical move is being discussed by people around the current stadium. Just to let it just sit here and just do anything, I don't think that'll be good for the county and people wouldn't like tax players, you know? I don't think they'll like that. A spokesperson for County Executive Angela Alsobrooks telling WUSA 9, even if the commanders choose to relocate, they will still be Prince George's County property owners. We trust that they won't turn their backs on the community they've called home for almost 30 years. Keep in mind, even if the commanders decide to go elsewhere, we are still years away from a move. The agreement the team signed with the county and the state commits them to play here through 2027. But again, they own all this so they can stay as long as they need to. And without a site even selected yet, we could be looking at 2030 before the team is in a new stadium, no matter where it is in Prince George's County. Eric Flack, WUSA 9.